All right. Hello, hello, everyone. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Rachel. I'm the Client Experience Lead at Homestack, and we provide you with your lovely Barrett Real Estate app. Um, I have done a lot of intro sessions with you guys before, but today we kind of want to think about the strategies to bring our app into our daily, weekly, and monthly routines. I know Evo has done such an awesome job onboarding you all um, and kind of teaching you guys the basics. So today we're kind of go, going to go through how we can bring it into our strategies. We'll talk a little bit about some of the newer features um, that maybe you guys didn't know were even in there. That's why I kind of like to hop on and show you some of the newer stuff that's happening. And then um, some of the marketing stuff that we can do. What can we do on social media? How can we digitally market stuff? That's really the fun stuff. So we'll get into that as well. So we know that as real estate agents, you guys do it all from you know, finding new couples or dream homes, finding people a vacation home, transitioning people into their newest stage of life, maybe downsizing. Real estate is crazy. <laughs> um, you guys do so much from a daily basis um, that we really provide you these tools to work smarter, not harder. How can you start to think of these tools as, you know, you're Batman and you have this tool belt and how can you use these tools to make your life easier? You're Iron Man, you have that suit of armor with all these bells and whistles, but what are the most important things that you can be doing to really help your business and to do what you guys do best, which is save the day. So today I'm gonna to take you through some of the key actionable takeaways daily. How can you be following up and sharing with your app? How can you be using it as your digital business card? Weekly, you can start to tag people as they come in and organize them. You can set them on automated new property drips right from the app, which is something new, and you can add users from your back end. What can you be doing on a monthly basis? Blasting emails out from your CRM, doing custom push notifications, um, talking about your app on social media. All of these things are going to help you to gain more app users bring people into your digital pipeline, and then, of course, result in more business over time. So it's these little things and these little habits that you can tweak that are going to help you not just today, but six months from now, a year from now. This time of year going into a new year is a great time to reassess, you know, what have I been doing? Is it working? Do I need to tweak? Do I need to replan for the new year? It's a great time to kind of reflect on what you're doing and think about how you can really use your tools to the max. So daily, what can we be doing every single day with our app to share, connect, and build those relationships? I love this quote from Dawn Forgio, and she's a top agent in Florida. She said, my real estate app falls into the way I've built my business. During my first year in real estate, I was cold calling, doing expireds and FISBOs. I wasn't working at my sphere. As time passed, I realized the way to make it in this business is to develop those relationships. And that's what this real estate app is all about instantaneously developing relationships with everyone that you meet. Or I would go so far as to say, digitally developing those relationships with everyone that you meet. Um, this app is going to share, connect, and help you to build those relationships. The smallest thing, the littlest thing. <laughs> Carmen said Wonder Woman here too. Love it. Um, the, the, the smallest thing that I want you guys to take away from this training that yields the biggest results is making it a habit to invite everyone that you meet to this app. I have been talking to agents who have like a thousand app users. I couldn't even find their profiles on social media. There was one, um, this one guy, Enrique Campos. I was like, Enrique, how do you have so many app users? I can't even find you on social. You're not on Instagram. You're not on Facebook. He's like, my kids tell me that all the time. He's like, but, um, I just literally share my app with every single person that I meet, whether I'm at a party, whether I'm at you know a sporting event or out to drinks, whatever it is, I flip my app QR code or I share it via text message and follow up. And that is how I gain so many app users. It's not rocket science. It's really easy. And we try to make it really easy for you guys to be able to do this. So I'm going to do a quick review on sharing. I think sometimes people kind of just forget um, as far as, I don't know why it's not sharing my phone for some reason. It's weird. Hold on one sec. There we go. Ooh, for some reason, my Zoom is being a little bit funky today. Let me try to share my phone again. 
There we go. Trust. Sorry, guys. I don't know why it's not sharing my phone. I'm sorry. Zoom has been so interesting lately. Let me see if it'll let me share via AirPlay. There we go. Should do the trick. Okay, cool. Oh, Zoom, the Zoom world we live in. Okay, cool. So when we open up your lovely little Barrett Real Estate app right there, you can see all the properties that are for sale. Your clients can zoom in. They can zoom out. Um, I actually wanted to do one more thing for you guys too. Let's see if they turned on one of the latest features for you, which I think they did. Let me just double check. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So when you go over any of these pins, you're going to be able to favorite stuff. Your clients are going to be able to favorite stuff. When they go to cards, this is going to give you the Instagram view, basically. It's the same properties that were on the map, but these are just a little bit. Yeah. Let's get to these wow factor properties here. Um, and um, it, it basically just shows you all of the properties, but just a little bit more visual when it comes to this point. Um, up in the right-hand corner is going to be all your filters. So active, open, pending, sold, and then leases is anything that's for lease or for sale. So just to give anyone new a little bit of an overview. Um, but the bottom right-hand corner where it says more is really where we want to focus our attention right now. When I click more, then I scroll down to this button that says invite friends. Each one of you guys has your own personalized version of the app where you show up on every single listing in your entire MLS coverage area. When somebody clicks contact agent, um, they're going to see your picture, your phone number, your email. They're going to be able to text you. We also have a brand new contact card, which I'm going to show you guys how to beef this up here. I'm going to show you in our demo app what this new contact card looks like. So what's cool about this, we just kind of put this in here. And I'm going to show you guys how to update this in your dashboard in a minute. But there's your picture when somebody clicks contact agent. Now you're going to have this nice little bio here. Um, you can put your website and then any of your social media links that you put will pop up in here. So if you have Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all of those will link as well. If you have any current listings, those will also pull underneath your bio as well. Um, if somebody clicks contact agent, they can email, call you or text you right from here. This is also have has an easy share button on it. So if anyone wants to click on that little share arrow, they can pop in and you can just quickly, sorry, just letting a couple more people in. You can quickly share this to people as well right from here. This is why it's basically like your digital business card. Hey, here's my home search app and info. Boop. Let's put some emojis in there, a little phone, a house, and a heart. And then when you text that on over, it's going to send them all of your personalized info, and it's going to have your personalized message as well. So the new contact card is really cool. It has a lot more personalization available, and I will show you guys how to beef these up in your profile in a minute. Um, we try to personalize it as much as we possibly can to the agent, so that's why we kind of wanted to beef up that contact card for you all. If you want to share, sorry, this is the demo app that I'm in, and then I'm going to pop back into the Barrett Real Estate app. You guys obviously want to be in the Barrett Real Estate app. Um, if you guys want to share any properties to your clients, just click on whatever listing it is, upper right-hand corner, you're going to click on that nice little share arrow. You can choose text message. You can choose email. I'm going to choose text message because I think the world runs on text messaging. And then you can personalize the message. It was awesome talking to you about 123 Main Street. Well, my voice texting isn't working either, which is really weird. Okay. Great chatting. This is perfect for you. Exclamation point. We love our smiley face, our house, and our little phone there. So then when somebody gets that, boom they can go right to the property that you have shared with them. They'll see a preview. They'll see your agent branding. Again, I'll show you guys how to put a bio down here, description, and then right there, they can get to that. 
So that is sharing your app. Again, each one of you has your own QR code. Each one of you has your share link, and then you can share properties as well. Say you want to pop one of these listings onto Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Twitter. Let's go back to our favorites. Even just sharing like a really beautiful eye candy listing if you wanted to. Like this is just such a cool property. Um, maybe they're having an open house. Maybe you just want to kind of get it out there to people in your sphere. Click on that share arrow, choose Facebook. And then I'm going to put it on only me. You guys keep it on public, but I'm just don't want people to think I'm selling Arizona real estate. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I do. Um, but you can click this on here and say, you know, seven bedrooms, five baths, open house. Saturday, one to three, you won't believe it. Ooh, whatever you want to say, put a nice little description in there. Of course, we love our emojis. And then share that right on out to your Facebook. Now, let me go to Facebook. Ooh, let's see what it looks like. Nice little ad that I made for this listing in under 30 seconds. You guys could boost this post, pay, pay 10 bucks a week, and you can um, target market it to people. If anyone clicks on it, again, they will get this nice little preview. They will get your agent branding coming through, description, and all that good stuff on there. I wanted to double check one thing for you guys as well. And see if they put this on for you. Hold on one second. Ah, there we go. I'm going to put this on for you and I'm going to put this on for you. These are two new features. Um, what's cool about these new features is now when somebody clicks on your stuff from Facebook, I'm going to pop onto here. Instead of them getting that just that one static image, like when you shared with someone who doesn't yet have the app, now it pops up and it says download Barrett Real Estate. But if I'm the client and I just want to continue to the web and be able to prove this full carousel of photos, we want to start to tease stuff out a little bit more, right? Because we're always enticing people to download the app. But if they see that one image, it's not bringing them in quite as much. Um, it still pulls through your agent branding. And then if somebody goes to do something a little bit more, like say they want to schedule a viewing, then it asks them to sign up for the app. So this nice. is, yeah, this is kind of like our IDX extension. Um, this is really nice too, because if you're putting people on saved searches and they get the email and they click on it from their computer, now they can view the, the listings on their computer as well. Okay. So we're, we're giving you a little bit more. I can show you what that functionality looks um from an email as well in a minute. So now it gives you a little bit more. The second new feature, actually I'm gonna reopen, that I wanna show you all is something that's going to help with your listings. So of course, this app is great for buyers. They can search stuff um, and we wanna, we wanna pull through that stuff too. But now you guys have this new filter called featured listings. This just got put into place for you all. What's cool about featured listings is that any purple pin on the map is a Barrett real estate listing. It is going to automatically pull through all the Barrett real estate listings and put them at the top of your feed. So we're Ooh. featuring your listings as a team first and foremost. And people okay, can cool. also filter by those listings. And and sorry to ask the question. Oh, no, please ask away. And we can still go in and add our own uh, featured listings, right? Absolutely. Um, you can add your own if it's like a pocket listing or if it's an off market, something like yeah. that. Um, but this is just an auto feature that pulls it in based on um, license number. So any agent who has their license number and their email that matches their MLS email, it will automatically pull through any of their featured listings and pop them at the top. Nice. Yeah, you guys can- Individual per agent. So it's not just going to pull in all the brokerage ones. It'll pull in each agent's listings. Yes, we can do a per agent. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, or you could do it per brokerage, whatever you guys choose. Okay. 
Um, the other thing that I want to ask you, Evo, is you guys can change the name of this filter. Like if you want it to be Barrett Real Estate Listings, My okay. Listings. Yeah. So you can let me know what you want that to be personalized to. So this is something that's really cool too. So you can let me know that. I'll put that in follow-up email if you want, want to let me know that as well. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, something else that is newish. I think you guys have a mortgage pro that's for everybody, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's good. They can still go in there and change it though. Exactly. Yeah. They can, if basically if they get, if the agent goes in and puts in their own mortgage pro, it'll override the universal yeah. mortgage pro. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So that's some new stuff there. As far as the featured listings, that's a huge one. There's some cool stuff that's going to kind of piggyback off the featured listings that they're working on. And like for 2024, like you're going to be able to like make a, a social media ad with your featured listing. And like, there's some other kind of cool stuff that they're putting in here that I'll keep you guys posted on. It's kind of like, we got a sneak preview the other day, but it's not like quite there, but that's kind of where this is headed. Okay, cool. So that is your featured listings. The other thing that I want to talk about with you guys is this new, really, really new fun <clears throat> that you guys might have even noticed. So I want to make sure that everybody has their notifications on for their app because you're now going to start to get these notifications that say Rachel's live in your app right now or you know Michael's li live in your app right now. Which yeah, so I saw important. that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So this is telling you literally that people that at that moment, somebody is in your app at that moment of highest intent searching for real estate. So what do you do now? Right. <laughs> it's exciting to see that somebody's in there and doing stuff, but you want to get into your app. You want to click on that and start a conversation with them, get the engagement going. Right. So you can pop into your app when you click on that. It's going to take you, I'm going back into my sample app where I'm logged in as an agent. And let me go back to sharing. It's going to now show you, this is so weird. I don't know why my Zoom is being like bonkers today. Okay, cool. It is going to show you um, who's live in your app. It'll take you basically to here where all of your users are. And say Leilani's live in your app, there'll be a green dot by her name. And then you wanna click on this little chat bubble and you wanna start a chat with her. Hey, I see you're looking in dot, 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 such and such area. And you can kick off that conversation and start to engage people. You can also send properties back and forth right in the chat. So if you click on that little building, go into your favorites, you can start to even start literally working with someone without working with them right within the chat. So this is a really, really cool way to engage people. Popping into the chat. Hi, Frank. Will you be able to forward the recording webinar for us to review? Yeah, I will send it to Evo and he can send it out to everybody. Yeah, I love watching the recording kind of, you know, it's nice to watch at your own pace, if you will, because um, there's a lot of info that I put in here at a quick pace. Okay. Cool. So that is no problem, Frank. Um, so that is the users being live. Kick off a chat with them. Get in there. It's really exciting to kind of see all that activity. The next thing you guys want to make sure to do, especially when you see those those that user activity going off, is to make sure that you're popping in and checking in your app's insights every day. What this allows you to do is to keep up on everything your clients are doing. Searching, saving, favoriting. Um, when you click on that insights button, it's gonna show you your list of users here. But the bread and butter of this app is the activity stream. When you click on activity, this is literally giving you a Facebook newsfeed of everything happening in your app. I don't know about you guys, I'm on my Facebook newsfeed and my Instagram, I don't know, every 15 minutes. I don't even know why. <laughs> It's just a habit, right? It's it's just something that you just do in your downtime. This is something that you can do in your dime, downtime that's actually going to make you money because you can see what people are doing in here. Um, if you can, if you want to follow follow up with some like tailored follow up about where the person is searching, 
Some agents even tell their clients, hey, listen, don't send me links to properties. Literally go in my app, click the heart on everything you like, and I'm going to be able to see it. We don't even have to send links back and forth. We can completely collaborate in my app because it's totally transparent and we can go back and forth. Of course, some agents just like to be big brother, kind of watching in the background and seeing what their people are doing. Um, it's completely up to you and your style. But I think the collaboration is really nice. If you then go back to your users panel, like if you're just like, I just want to see everything that Leilani has looked at, or I just want to see everything that Connie has looked at, you can click on one client specifically, and then you can go right to her favorites or her listings viewed, and you can see everything that she's been looking at in here. So it's it's just so much good information that when you're following up, you can really use and personalize it to your clients thus fostering those relationships. Also on the activity uh, on the activity stream, sometimes like I had an agent, his name is Randy Courtney and he's a big broker. And he was like, I saw somebody pop up in my app's insights who downloaded my app like a year ago. He was like, I reached out to that person, ended up selling them an over a million dollar house. He's like, if I hadn't had them download my app, they would have just gone to Zillow and I wouldn't even know they were looking again. So it's a really great way to kind of keep on the pulse. The next thing that you can do after you've seen where somebody has been looking is set them up on an automated new property alert. What's cool about that is that they will get emails like when you set them up from your MLS, but um, they'll also get push notifications. So push notifications are these nice little, you know, banners that pop up. Call, like these ones are calling me back to my target cart and my Amazon cart even though I swear I wasn't going to spend any more money. Um, this card is calling me back. And now I'm probably going to buy this basketball hoop for my kids, which I was you know, trying not to do. But anyways, that's what push notifications do. You guys will send these push notifications from your app to your clients. So you can automate these with new property alerts and you can also send custom push notifications. So first I'm going to show you how to automate the new property alerts. So you're going to go in, you can search by zip code, address. Let's do Gilbert AZ. And then. So now, uh, so now we can do them from the app then. Now you can do them from the app, baby. Used to be just dashboard. Nice. This, is a new, this is a new feature as well. It's so much easier to be able to do it from the app too, because you know, we're, we're, we're sometimes we're at our desk, but agents are usually on their phones, right? And in their cars. So if you just had a good meeting with a client or you just looked in your insights and you saw where somebody was looking, you can search by zip or city. You can cancel it out. This is really fun. You can click on this little finger with the circle right here. And now I'm going to take my okay. finger, click on that. And I'm literally drawing on my phone screen with my finger in the exact area that I'm searching in. And then I'm going to click apply. So that's going to hone in specifically on that area that my client is searching in. We've got the where. Now let's add the what. Upper right-hand corner, there's three little lines. This is where you can add your filters. So I know they want three bedrooms, two bathrooms. I know they're looking in, let's go under three mil. They want at least 4,000 square feet. Let's shoot for the stars here. House, condo, and then I'm going to apply those filters even more. I do have a quick question. I know yeah. you're in the middle. Um, oh, okay. On the filters, there's one that says like 55 and up. Is there a way to exclude 55 and up? Exclude 55 and up. Uh, let me see. Because at the bottom there, it says like uh, like 55, 55 plus community. Plus. If I turn that on, does that mean it will show? And if it's not checked, then it's not showing any ones that are 55 and up? If it's not checked, it is showing 55 and up. If it is checked, it's going to put those towards the top and make them more prominent. Okay. Is there a way to exclude 55 and up? Exclude 55 and up. I can ask. Because that's one of the things that I've, I've heard. They're like, how do I take the 55 and up out of there? Because uh, if we have clients that aren't looking for it or yeah. that aren't, they can't qualify for that, obviously, because they're not 55, <laughs> yeah. then they see all these like amazing listings that are like relatively uh, cheap and they look super nice, but then they can't get them. 
Okay. Let me add that to our feedback log. I love that. Okay, that makes cool, a lot cool. of sense, especially like where you guys live or like Florida. Yeah. Where there are a lot of those communities. Okay, yeah. cool. Let me bump that up. Um, we we meet once a month about feedback. So if you have any little, little tweaks like that, I can always put that onto the feedback log and, and bring it to our meeting. Um, I'll make sure to add that. Do we have the ability to set up an auto search to post like to Facebook or Instagram? Like so, so like uh, four bedroom homes in Gilbert and it just, instead of like sending the client, it will auto post that search. That's cool. Have you seen that? Have you seen no. that on other people's? We, we have a, not on the app, we have a software that kind of does that, but it's not, it'd be cool if we could make it like how, how Frank's saying, if it was a search that just automatically would go and post those ones that it could find. I media. love that idea. Even if it was like, maybe even if it was like your featured listings. Yeah, no, that'd be cool. At least, because sometimes I know there's some compliance with posting like other people's listings, but if they were Barrett listings, I know that that, that could probably be a thing. Okay, cool. I love that idea. All right, auto post, save search to social. That's really that's a really cool idea. That's something different too. I'll add that too. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll run through this with you guys really quickly once again. So click on the little finger with the circle. Get your area, click apply, go into your filters, pop on some of those filters, click apply filters. Then you're going to click save this search right at the top. You want to make sure that email and push notifications on. I think the push notifications are huge, especially thinking back to my email inbox with all the uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday emails that I got where I'm like regretting ever signing up for any 10% off coupon because no matter how many times I unsubscribe, I'm still getting those emails. But the push notifications, especially when someone's searching for a home, they want to be notified the quickest. So keep the push notifications on. And then it says assign search to where it says myself, click on that. And then pick whatever client you want to get the pushes and click save search. Now you can save up to 10 different areas per person. Something that I do know that they're working on um, with this saved search is you guys are going to be able to set up like your most frequently searched areas, set that as like a saved search and then apply those searches to different clients. So that's something that I know they are presently working on because some people are like, well, I really work in these three markets. I really like to like put people on auto searches for like these three really specific areas. So I know they're currently working on that and you guys are going to be able to do that pretty soon. Hey, one more spin on, on that Love idea it. that we had. Keep Please. It um, Keep it so instead of being able to just share one house, is there anything they could do to add the ability to like, if we highlighted three or four houses and shared those and then it would just be homes from the app like it would say you know something generic but it would share multiple houses at once so when they so click it, they... yeah if if a few new ones do hit the market like say um let me see let me find a good example just to show you guys kind of what that looks like like say there's four listings that dropped within the past couple days It'll kind of group them in the email and it'll send them like the four newest. And then it has your agent branding at the bottom. Does that make but sense? I'm talking, yeah, that does. But I'm talking about doing it just for social media posts, not for emails. Oh, uh, oh for social. For, yeah, to do almost like a little for, hot yeah. sheet kind of. Yeah. yeah, correct. Yeah, we have had that requested before. I can put that on again. And again, I think you might be able to do that with your feature, with the Barrett featured listings, but I think it would be cool to do with all of them. Let me pop that on there. So, hot sheet. Yeah, because the listings, I know you said there's compliance issues, but the listings will post who it's provided by and that, that will cover the compliance issue. And as long as we're posting more than two, it's not an issue with anybody. Ah, interesting. Yeah, every state is different. 
um, as far as some, some people are like in Florida, they're like, we don't care. We do whatever we want. <laughs> and then there's like, That's there's like Boston and there's like New Hampshire and they're like, oh wait, we will get, and Seattle is like crazy with compliance. You'd be surprised at certain areas that are just so much more compliant. Um, it's really interesting to kind of learn about all this stuff, but yeah, those are all really cool ideas. Um, I love the auto grip idea. If you could set up the saved search that would somehow post to your social, or at least if you could, at least if you could like take a link of it and yeah. it on your social, I don't know about, cause it might be hard to like link automatically with everybody's different social media platforms, but at least if you could like grab a link and share it to your social and be like, Hey, these three houses just dropped, check them out. Yeah, that, would be, that would be great. Yeah, that would be really cool. It's not just our featured listings. The ability to do all listings would be more useful. Yeah. I love that. Cool. Okay. So we're good with setting up the auto searches. Um, I also wanted to just let you guys know that the chat, and I don't remember if you knew this from before, um, our chat now has the ability to have multiple people on one chat, the chat that's within the app. Really? So- yeah, this is really, really fun. Multi-user chat. If you're in any chat, say I'm going to go to my insights. I'm going to go to one of my users. I want to start a ch chat with Leilani here. I'm going to click on that little chat bubble. Um, But say, okay, Leilani's husband is driving me crazy because he's on a different text chain. <laughs> I want to get them both on the same page because I'm sick of, you know, going back and forth with both of them. Or say I want to add a lender or I have an investment partners or something. There's a little person with a plus sign in the upper right-hand corner on your chat. When you click on that little person with the plus sign, um, you can add them from the app if they're already using the app, or you can click invite by email, and you can just invite someone by email. It'll send them an email that says, hey, um, hop into this chat with you know Rachel Pellucci, and um, here's where you can join the chat. They click, and then they can enter the chat and get the app as well. Multi-person right. chat has been so, so then, nice. When you do that and it's from like they're already in the app, they will then show up like both of them on the on the like the chat bubble or yeah, their their name will just pop up and it'll be like Rachel Pellucci says, you know, just like this instead of Marty McFly. And then people can kind of just it'll it'll just like all kind of jump in almost like a text thread. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's really nice to just kind of keep everybody on the same page, you know? No, if yeah. You know. Exactly. Um, I was just looking at something. What was I just looking at that I was going to show you guys? Chat. Do, 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 do. It escapes me. Oh, the other thing that I want to make sure everybody has on is their notifications for the app. So you can adjust these in your dashboard, but just to make sure that you're getting those notifications that say... Um, like people are online and stuff. Um, whether you're iPhone or Android, there is usually a, a little button that says settings. And then there's like a notification center. Oh my goodness, my chair is driving me nuts today. Let me just share again. I don't know if it's my, in I think it's my internet. Ooh, I don't know, go. someone's been freaking out lately, so. It's like whenever they do updates, it it like doesn't work right for like a couple days, which is really annoying. Okay. So if you're on your home screen, do settings, then do notifications. And then here's where all your different apps are. And whether it's Barrett, whether it's Instagram, whatever the case may be, let's click on Barrett, of course. And if yours looks like this and isn't allowing any notifications, make sure that you click it to green so that you're getting all the notifications. Again, if you wanna tone down specifics, you can do that from the app dashboard, but I just wanna make sure that you guys just have this on so you're not missing important client activity. So make sure that you pop that on. Okay, cool. Um, the next thing that I wanna go over is custom push notifications. So we talked about the drips and people getting you know, notifications that kind of pop up like that. But custom push notifications are super cool and they are completely unique to your app. No other real estate app gives you the ability to do this. So whenever you have something that's completely unique to you, you want to use it because it's going to help you to stand out from competition, right? So what do I mean by custom push notifications? 
So besides sending new property alerts, you can send out, you know, if you posted a really cool video on Instagram or if you do YouTube videos and you have a cool virtual tour. Um, I have teams that literally just send all of their push notifications to their Instagram because they're trying to get more Instagram views um, or likes. So this is a team, for example, Team Z. I got this push notification from them earlier today. I think I just accidentally erased it. Um, but that's okay because all their push notifications also go into their alert center in the app. So even if people have their notifications turned off, um, they will still get the uh, these little ones and twos in the alert center. And this one says in escrow, in Vista, two bedroom, one and a half bath. And when I click on it, it sends me to the cool Instagram post that they did about it. They also tag the listing agent. I love the way that this team does their um, social media because they will put all of their listings on their team page, but then they tag the agent. So now, not only am I liking and looking at this post, but now I'm clicking on Daryl's Instagram. And now I'm following him and I'm seeing what else he's got going on. And I'm learning a little bit about him. Oh, he's got this cool video. And now I'm going to like that. So it's just a really cool way to get more eyeballs on the content. So you have these nice little notifications popping up, reminding people that you're doing real estate, but you're also kind of getting eyeballs on other stuff. I had one team that I actually um, was like walking and getting my steps in. And I got this push notification from their app that was like, hey, we're going live with our podcast in five minutes. Here's the link to join. And I clicked on it and I was literally listening to their podcast for the rest of my walk. It was just really cool. So if you guys are like raising money for charity around the holidays, it's cool to be able to send it out. If you're doing any events that you want people to come to, like a home buyer seminar or any type of community events, you can blast it out. This is one of our teams in San Francisco. Every time they have an open house or they put in like an exclusive listing before it's on MLS, they link it to um, like a really cool YouTube video that they made about it because they do these beautiful YouTube videos. So you can get really creative with the custom push notifications, but again, it's totally unique to you. It's something different and it's a way to get, like I said, more eyeballs on your properties. Evo, you can send custom push notifications just to the agents too. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, I can? Yeah. If you sent them a push notification like 10 minutes before this, this um, event that said, hey guys, app training in, in 10 minutes, here's the link to join. Blast that that all has to be done through the dashboard, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that. We're going to pop into the dash in a minute. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So I am going to, oh, before we pop into the dash, I'm going to go on to Instagram. I know some of you have made some really cool videos about your app. There's been some really good ones recently. Um, the one thing that I want to make sure everybody has, I think you guys use Popple. So I think Evo has yeah. been showing you how to put your app link in your Popple. And then you guys put that in your link tree or your link in bio, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that when you guys make a video about your app or when you do a post about your app, um, if you guys want to follow us, we're at Homestack Apps. We're also doing something really fun for anyone who wants to enter. Um, Monday. December 11th is National App Day. You guys have heard of National Pizza Day, National Donut Day. <laughs> There's a National App Day, which actually we just kind of learned about, which is really, really funny. So in honor of National App Day, we are doing a contest. Anyone who enters the National App Day contest will get some free marketing materials uh, branded to you guys to use about your app. It's going to be like a little video, an open house flyer, and then a social post. And then anyone who posts an app video on Monday will be entered in to win um, one of our grand prizes, which are going to be some Google and, um, Google gift cards or um, Apple App Store gift cards. So I'm going to put the link and Evo, I'll send you this um, in a follow up. Yeah. Anyone who wants to enter the app day contest. It's going to be something that's really fun. 
um, kind of like a fun, we haven't really, we don't do contests that often. And I was like, why don't we do a contest around national app day? Cause it's just unique. And it's a reason to kind of like boost, you know, boost visibility of your app and, and get everyone making a video. Yeah, no, that's perfect. If you guys are looking for video inspiration, we have a highlight here called app marketing. Anybody who tags us in their videos, especially on national app day, we're going to reshare it. And then we save it in this app marketing highlight. There's tons of good video examples in here that people have done. Um, this was a really good one. This team is killing That somebody making an app, mm -hmm. a video about the video app. About the So that's a good one. Um, I can send you guys some really good ones that people have done recently. There's another really good one. I liked this one because it was just very like casual. It wasn't, you know, high production. It was very natural. So there's some, there's some cool stuff going on. Some people will just say like download a new app, link in bio. I think the videos where people get on and talk about it are just really effective too. And yeah, it's kind of a reason to like push you to get in front of your audience too. Um, Cool. Okay. So that's video. We're going to hop into the dash for a couple minutes and I'm going to refresh with you guys how to do a couple things. Boop. Okay, so go to Google, Safari, whatever your search engine is. And then you are going to type in dashboard.homestack.com. It's going to bring you to a lovely little dashboard with some mid-century modern furniture on it. And you're just going to put in your same email and password that you do for your app. And then click log in. I'm going to use our sample agent, Marty McFly. He time travels and he does real estate. Um, so this is going to bring you to your dashboard. Your recent users are on here. Your total users are on here. Your activity stream is down here. So again, if you want to see what everyone's been doing larger on the computer, it's nice to be able to see that as well. If you go over to the left here, there's a button that says users. Something that I want to uh, highlight for you guys, and this is a newer feature as well you can add users in your dashboard. Once again, if you have somebody you're already working with, if you're in a buyer consult or a listing presentation, pop open your dashboard, click new user, put in their name, their email, their phone number, give them a password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Click this little toggle that says send email invite, create user and send email. This is gonna send your client an email that says, hey, You've been added to the Barrett Real Estate app by Agent Rachel Pellucci. Here's where you can download and here's your login info. What's cool about adding them from the back end is now they're in your list of users. And now you can pop in here and set them up on a saved search. Because okay. even if they haven't downloaded the app yet and you set them up on a saved search, they're going to get the emails when new properties drop. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yes. So even if they haven't down, even if they get that email and they're like, cool, and they don't download the app yet, if you then set them up on a search, 
Now they're getting the emails. And every time they get that email, they're clicking on it and it's prompting them to download the app. So it's another way of teasing them into your app and getting them to use it more is to set them up on the same search, add them, and then set them up on a search. If we set up this auto search and their activity, does that sync with our CRM with um, the Lofty filter? They changed, uh, they changed Chime. It's called Lofty now, just so you guys know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Right now, I think we're working on that. Right now, it just comes in as the new lead. Yeah. Not all activity comes through yet, but I think we are, I think we are working on that, actually. Because then it would make it so we could use this exclusively and get the most bang for a buck out of it. I know. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I mean... If you set them up from Lofty, are they just getting email notifications? They're not getting like- um, Yeah, they're just getting email notifications through Lofty. That's why I recommend when people, like some clients will be like, oh, can you send them to me in a text? I normally set them up on the app because then they'll at least get like the push notifications. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's that's kind of what I always recommend is like, Emails are fine. I mean, they're good. And, you know, people who are diligent about checking their emails are good. But you want to have something on their mobile that's reminding them too. you know, yeah. because that's really what people are looking at every, you know, 10 minutes, really. I just don't want to be redundant. I mean, yeah. Or you could you could set them up on emails from Lofty and pu just push notifications from the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Whatever you want. I mean, I say just, I mean, I think when somebody's really anxious about finding a house, especially kind of low inventory, the more the better. They don't care. They just want to know, you know? Okay, cool. If you guys want to send a custom push, you click push notifications. Green button in the upper right, send notification. And then you could select all your users. You could select one person. If you guys want to select a tagged group, like I was telling you, Evo, if you click the agent tag, mm. that's how you're going to send a push notification <laughs> to just the agents. I see. Yeah. If you're, if you guys have been tagging people like hot lead or say first time buyer, you know, you have, I used to, I have like 40 first time buyers or something and I'm going to do a home buyer happy hour. Boop. And then I want people to register to learn about buying a house and have a drink on us. And then I'm going to click URL because I'm going to put my Facebook event in here because I want people to click like interested or coming. Um, you guys can also send these now or you can now schedule these. So if you want to sit down okay. once a month and schedule one custom push to go out every Friday, you can sit down for 15 minutes and do that via scheduling. Or you can send it now. And just click send notification. Boom, you've sent it out to the world. Well, you know, your app users slash the world. Um, mm -hmm. So the push notifications are really cool. Featured listings, when you click on that, that's where all the features are going to come up. Um, if you guys click preferences, this is where you can adjust how you're getting notified. So like if, you know, you don't want to get an email every time someone favorites something, you can turn that off. Um, if you guys want to beef up your profiles with the new contact card that I showed you, Make sure to get your website in here. Make sure you get your bio. And some of you I noticed didn't have headshots. So get your beautiful faces in there. Um, and then now you can put all your social in here. So if you want to put your YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, anything that you put in oh. here will now show in your new contact card. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then just click update or save. Um, and then if you guys want to add some tags and start making some tags mm -hmm. to kind of coordinate people, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we're out of time. Um, thank you so much for meeting with me again. I think I gave you guys a lot of kind of like newer mm -hmm. stuff to go on. Um, and I also will send you the information about National App Day. Evo, you can send that out to anyone who wants to enter. Um, we're Perfect. also doing another webinar <sighs> on... Um, December, Tuesday, December 12th. So if anyone wants to join that one, it's going to be with Blake Sean, leader of the Sean team. And he's going to talk about how, you know, in spite of this crazy market, they managed to win a ton of listings. Um, he does like a lot of funny outside the box, 
um, like app marketing videos and stuff. So he's going to talk about that too. So this is going to be a really good one. If you guys can't make it at that time, just register and you will get the recording. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Frank. Um, I'm going to take this feedback. Thanks guys for all the feedback and I'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thanks so much, Rachel. Bye. Have a good one. Bye, Bye guys.